Hi, I'm Tutsi Tupata and I'm here to talk to you about writing as usual. Uh, today I'm going to look at 10 ways for you to start your writing journal. Some of you have been watching me for a few weeks now, for a few months, and perhaps you haven't started writing yet. What's stopping you? I know that sometimes it can be daunting to start a new hobby or a new project. And I want to find out what your particular pain point is. But in order to help you get started, I've got 10 steps to help you on your journey, to start your journey. Number one, decide why you're writing. What's your purpose? Are you writing to send a message? Are you writing because you like the idea of writing fiction? Have you been toying with the idea of an epic story or a short story? Or have you been thinking about writing to promote your hobby, your business, or something like that? Think about why you want to write and why you've been watching. What, what's it that you want to say? What is it that you want to say? Number two, pick a genre. Do you want to write romance, fic uh, romance fiction, crime, science fiction, mystery and murder, uh, fantasy, what, what is it, a Western? What do you want to write about? Decide. If it's not, non, if it's not fiction, if it's non-fiction, what is it you're going to be writing about? Is it a specific topic that's burning a, a hole in your heart that you really want to share? Make up your mind before you get started. It'll help you in the long run. You'll see as you get on with the planning. Number three, do your homework. Find out what's already out there. Are there other books in the genre that you want to write in? How are the other writers f faring? Hi Stanley, thanks for joining. How are other writers faring? What's selling well? What are people interested in reading? That's really important because once you've written, you want to make sure that somebody somewhere is going to read it and not just one person, but a number of people. What's really popular? And if it's non-fiction, which topics are doing particularly well at this time? Have a look and see what's out there and see how the other writers are getting on. And then you can decide where you're going to fit in with your book. Have a, have a rough idea of how long your work is going to be. Is it going to be up to 30,000 words? Is it fiction? Were there for a short story or a novelette? Or is it going to be a short non-fiction? Do you have some really short, brief facts to share uh, with, with your readers? Number five, write your plot or your outline based on what you want to achieve. So if you've decided that you want to promote your business, then Decide exactly what aspect of your business you're going to promote and what you're going to be saying. If it's a sh fiction story, then you need to outline what is going to happen in the story. Think about the plot and what exactly is going to happen in the story. Just some rough notes are really good to get you started. Get those creative juices flowing and get your imagination going. Number six, go in now and write a really detailed outline. Put in your chapter headings if it's non-fiction. Put in what's going to happen in each chapter if it is fiction. And decide what's going to be included in which part. So if there's a, a murder that's meant to, write, to occur, which part of the story is your murder going to occur in? If it's non-fiction, what exactly are you going to be saying and when? Hello, Victoria. Thanks for joining. Number seven. Plan when you are going to write every day. You need to have a writing plan. The best writers write every day. It's very difficult to achieve. Not everybody does it all the time, every time, because life happens and sometimes you just can't make the time. But at least if you start out with a plan, you have a better chance of achieving what you want to do. So make sure that you decide, are you going to write in the morning before you go to work today, every day, if you're a working person? Are you going to write in the evening, your lunch break? When are you going to write? Are you going to use a computer, 
um, a portable computer or you're going to do some notes write down in a notebook uh, which is a lengthy piece but perhaps that's what's accessible for you during the day if you're going to be writing during the day so think about when you're going to be writing and when you have this plan for how long you're going to be writing decide how many hours you're going to write for or have a word count target that you're going to achieve each day so say to 2000 words if you're a fast typer you can type more but set realistic objectives that you know you can achieve plan plot number eight step number eight is do your homework research 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 your setting where is the story going to take place and perhaps which era make sure you're really familiar with it so you don't suddenly say or do things your characters don't do things that are out of character with the setting make sure that as well that you've researched your non-fiction topic thoroughly and you understand exactly what industry standards are saying and what the latest trends are and get yourself up to speed <clears throat> Number nine, start writing. It doesn't matter if you're confident or not, whether you're sure of what you want to write, but you've got to start somewhere and this is the best time to write. You've got all your plans in front of you and don't be nervous. It's, it's inevitable that you may make a mistake or you may just start getting it right from day one. Whatever it is, just get, get on and Get started on it so you have something to look back at. And you know, the, the very encouraging thing about writing is the minute that you've written even a paragraph, if you take a break and come back to it and read that paragraph, it's so motivating. It'll motivate you to write more and it gives you a direction in which to travel in. And I tell you, you won't look back once you've written something. The important thing is to get started. Number 10 stick to your program until you've finished your book or your article whatever you're writing stick to the program whatever you've set out to do you can tweak it a little bit but make sure that you're making an effort so that every day you're working towards your goal of having your finished book and number 11 if you're stuck inbox me and let let me see how i can help you and make your dreams come true that's it for, for this evening. This has been Sitsi Tsopotsa. Please visit our website, our Facebook page, uh, Setseno, and there are lots of free tips that you can use to get started in writing or to motivate you and to connect with other uh, writers or potential writers. I hope to see you next Monday and I'll be posting some other stuff on, on my page and on Setseno's uh, page, Facebook page. Um, to make sure that I keep you motivated, give you the stuff that you need to make sure that you succeed. I want you to succeed. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye.